Mexico's healthy reviews. Today I got another Yingling beer. Um, this is the uh, Yingling Black and Tan. It says Porter and Premium Beer. Um, apparently, uh, Beer Advocate has changed their scoring system, so uh, they don't have uh, the bros on here anymore. But it says Beer Advocate score. Um, this gets a little confusing. It says 16.6% like this beer, which I'm I, I'm guessing has to do with the people who were actually on the website rating the beer. So 16.6% of the people who rated it on this website uh, liked it. So that means however many percent disliked it. Um, in my opinion, I've had this before. It's pretty good. Um, I like it uh, compared to the other one. It's definitely a, a different beer. Uh, we'll crack this open. Beer, uh, beer info on this, excuse me. Uh, it's brewed by Yingling Brewery out of Pennsylvania, United States. If you want to check them out a little bit more, you can go to yingling.com. Uh, style of this one is black and tan. Um, alcohol by volume is, I think it was a little bit lower. Uh, alcohol by volume or ABV is 4.7%. I think that's the same as the regular. Yeah. I was going to say, I remember the uh, traditional being that much. Uh, availability is year-round, and there are no notes or commercial description at this time. Um, so like I said, I had this before, um, so I enjoy it. Um, I've actually had the Mississippi Mud before, too. That's pretty good. Compared to this, um, I don't know which is better. Might have to make that a video one day. So, uh, color of it, it's kind of got like a ruby red kind of yeah. color to it, doesn't it? I was going to say, it's not really completely uh, pitch black. No, because I can see it through it. But like, yeah, it is like a ruby red kind of. Yeah, isn't it? Kind of like an amber color. Yeah. Um, head went away pretty quick. I don't really have much of a head. Zach's got a little bit of a head. Yeah. Produced kind of a khaki head, more of a, more kind of white. Looks kind of gray, actually, doesn't it? From what you got left. Doesn't really leave much of a lease in. Let's go for the aroma. Picking up really that porter. A little bit of like a little bit of a grain. A little bit of that kind of um, breadiness. Because I'm guessing this is kind of like the traditional in a porter mixed. Um, porter is definitely more overpowering. Like yeah, the but it's still not. Like, like it's got a, it's like a light, so not like strong though. A light coffee scent, right? Yeah. But yeah, like Zach said, it's definitely nothing that you would get from regular porter, seeing how it's uh, black and tan. But uh, yeah, let's go for the taste. Light chocolatiness, um, light porter taste, like a, uh, light coffee. It's really smooth. You know what I mean, like like coffee grounds. Yeah, it is. Um, picking up a little bit of like a bready kind of biscuitiness that you would get from the traditional. It has a nice carbonation with it though. Yeah, I'd say medium on the carbonation. Um, the cool thing about this is um, you get that porter flavor, but you don't get that porter mouthfeel. Um, so it's not going to be really thick and kind of like rich. This is a little bit on the lighter side. Um, if you could think of a light version of a porter, this is it. You know what I mean? This is basically kind of a light, you know what I mean? A light yeah. porter, in I my opinion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good. Definitely has some good flavor to it. Um, like I said, mouthfeel is probably about uh, light to medium. Not exactly medium you would get um, uh, with a uh, regular porter, excuse me. Um, price on these, same as your traditional or your light, um, they don't change the price. So I'm guessing these are around like six and change, seven bucks for a six pack, twelve dollars for a twelve pack. Um, and for beer, this quality. Um, I mean, if you're buying Budweiser, Bud Light, it's it's about the same price. You know what I mean? Um, 
What are you playing over there? Zach's playing some games, Sniper Assassin. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, if you're buying, like, Budweiser, Bud Light, um, you're gonna be paying the same price as Yingling, and honestly, in my opinion, I feel like Yingling, traditional itself, has way more flavor than, uh, Bud Light. Oh, yeah, all Budweiser that. or whatever, you're definitely getting your money's worth. Um, so like I said, I think a six pack on this is like six and change to seven dollars rating um, This is pretty good black and tan. I'm definitely gonna have to do a comparison of the Mississippi mud with this But uh, I'm gonna give this one an eight. This one's a uh, Definitely a uh, a Pickup of mine something that I'll, I'll go to quite often um, If I'm looking for something different um, Maybe I'm not really feeling uh, craft beer. This is something a little bit less intense. You know what I mean? This is definitely a, a lighter, more sessional beer than your average craft porter. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to give it a ra uh, rating of 8 out of 10. What are you going to give it for a rating, Zach? I'd probably give it a 9. 9? Oh, yeah, you like it that much? Well, I like Yingling in general. I'm yeah, Yingling is great. Like... So Zach gives it a 9 recommendation. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, oh, yeah. If you had the Mississippi Mud, um, I recommend checking this out. Um, if you're somebody who likes porters, uh, definitely check this out because it's a little different. Like I said, it's kind of a light porter. And if you're somebody who likes uh, maybe Budweiser, Bud Light, maybe you want to switch things up. Or maybe you just like the regular uh, traditional Yingling or Yingling Light. Like I said, maybe you just want to change it up a little bit. This is a little bit different. Um, and you're not going to go and uh, try those... Um, the more intense kind of uh, porter with the strong coffee flavor and the kind of like bitter chocolatiness. Um, like I said, this is more of a relaxed kind of sessional beer compared to those. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Yingling Black and Tan. Definitely a readily available beer in Rhode Island. Um, I know in some other states they can't get Yingling. They don't have the, uh, they don't have the access to it. But, um, yeah, we can basically get it in, like, any bar we go to. Not really black and tan. They don't have... No. Black and tan's probably not as available as... I don't think I've ever seen it on tap or actually at a bar. I've seen, obviously, regular England on tap, and I've had it in bottle. Yeah. I was going to say, I, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen it um, on draft or whatever anywhere, right? Like, any bars that we've gone to, or I've gone to, you know what I mean? Say you probably going to fucking other ones I had, I'm sure. Well, I know there's a bar in Providence, but like 52 different types of beers on top. Do they have this? I don't know. They might, I'm sure. We can they try it. Yeah. We can check that out. Check it out. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how available this is. But uh, if you see this in your area, I definitely recommend picking up Yingling's a pretty good beer. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. It's any other uh, liquor or beers you guys like to see on my channel. Definitely leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.